Oregon State sure had a rough start to their football season. The Beavers failing to notch a win in either of their first two games. But today's homer, we saw a much different story. Our Fox 12's Nick Krupke headed to Corvallis and explains how the Beavs closed out their non-conference schedule with a bang. Well, finally, a victory walk-off. Hats off to you, OSU. A victory fight song here at Research Stadium for a club that really needed a win. Thumped here on the opener from Oklahoma State. Then that letdown a week ago in Hawaii. They needed a win in the worst way before Pac-12 play, and that's what Jonathan Smith's team got here. Victory number one in 2019. We're happy with any win, because I've seen, you know, lower-level programs come in and get wins. <laughs> The orange and black were up in smoke against Tim Walsh's Cal Poly Mustangs as the longtime Portland State leader was back in the Beaver State. Jake Luton locked in that big bodied target of Isaiah Hodgins for not one, but two first quarter scores. Luton looked the best he ever has for the Beavs, completing 16 of 21 passes in that first half. Five of those balls with the smallest guy on the field, including the kickers, Champ Flemings, all five foot five, a buck 55. The yoink rips the rock for the Mustangs DB. 47-yard man size score by the redshirt sophomore out of Pasadena. I just felt like, you know, I could out jump him. So jumped up there, was able to track the ball in my eyes and make a good catch. That's a drill that we do pretty much every day in practice. Hit a rose on its nose. A nose for the football. Luton launching another, landing the rocket in plenty of space. Flemings blasts off for the 75-yarder. 38-7, Beavs at the break. Flemings a breakout star the Beavs got to have to crawl out of the Pac-12 cellar. This guy's competitive. He ain't shy. And yeah, he's... He's 5'5". Five five. With the most points they scored in Oregon State half since week two a year ago in route to their route of the Mustangs. With the Beavs end a seven game skid, 45 to seven. It felt good, you know, been a minute. And it just felt good being back out there with my, my brothers, making plays, you know, helping the team out. Got a ton of respect for that coach over there, Coach Walsh, that program. But obviously pleased with kind of the quality of play. I thought it was a pretty complete game in, in that regard. And, and now we'll be moving on. And, Looking to improve next week. Beavs now get to enjoy this for almost two weeks. They got a bye week until the conference opener with Stanford right on this field on Saturday, the 28th. At Reacher Stadium in Corvallis, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.